Okay, we are doing something pretty quick in this one. Take a look at this image here. It is in the scene. It is always looking at me as I walk around. And this is a highly requested tutorial and it's really easy to do. So I thought I would quickly put this up. Let's learn how to make this happen. Okay, we are inside a UA event. As you can see here, I've got a texture and I've got a material that I have made. Now, texture is literally just a PNG. It can be anything you want, uh, but it'll be an image. And then you're gonna make a material from that. To do that, you just right click, and then you go to create material, and that will create a material. So we'll call it deco with alpha mat because a material. And then when you go into this, you just double click to go into this, and you can see we've got our texture sample here, and we've got our deco with alpha mat material. Now, if you want your alpha to be effective inside of your material, then left click this, head down into the blend mode, pick translucent, grab the alpha from here and chuck it into the opacity. Go ahead, apply, save and close. And now you should have this material down here. Okay, so once you have a material made, because you need that, or what we're going to make next is a Niagara VFX. So inside of my VFX, I've already got two of these, but we're gonna make another one. So we're gonna go right click, Niagara system. Now inside of here, we can pick a few different things. We're going to pick new system from selected emitters. Click next. Now there's a bunch in here, but we want one which is just going to be a single particle. So we go a single looping particle, add that to our emitters and then click finish. We'll just call it new Niagara system for now. It doesn't really matter. Double click on that. And we can see in here, we've got our Niagara system and right in the middle is our sprite. And it's just a looping particle. We want to replace this particle. So we click the single looping particle box here, and then we'll scroll down a little ways till we get to the material. Uh, the default sprite material is just this little circle. So we can click this and then we can see here decal with alpha mat shows up. So put that in and then you can see that our material shows up right in here. Now, if you want to make it bigger or smaller, then you can just go into the uniform sprite size and uh, we can put this up to 200, something like that. It'll be huge. Just zoom out a little bit. So then it just becomes bigger. It just scales it up. So let's uh, save that, close that. And now that we have this new thing, we can actually just drag it out onto the scene and it will show up. But this doesn't give us a lot of power with it. We can't really control it, turn it on and off and all that kind of stuff with verse, which is something we will want to do. So delete that. And we're going to go into the devices inside of Fortnite. And we're going to find the VFX spawner, drag that in, and then just move it wherever you want. By default, it brings up these fireworks. Don't worry about that. We're going to custom visual effect override, hit that checkbox, and then go find your emitter inside of here. So it's called the new Niagara system. We can actually just select that and then hit this little arrow and it will automatically put it in there. And you can see here that it shows up as our particle. And so that's the same thing as this other one here. And if you put it in a VFX spawner, you can enable it and disable it and all kinds of stuff. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do. If you want to show an image on the screen that always faces the player, this is how you do it. So that's it. Hopefully that's been interesting. This is one way to show an image on the screen that always faces the camera. There's a few ways to do it, but I think this is the absolute easiest way to do it. So hopefully that has been good. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.